Hello everyone, uh, it is yet another day, which means another Apollo raid. This is my fourth one, and hopefully it goes as well as the last three. Well, last two, because the first one wasn't that good. Time to get yet another lighter. Uh, I've taken Grand Fairy out, and I've put in... If it'll load... No, no, I guess it... Whoops. What I meant to do was take Grand Ferry out and swap her with Von P. Yep, today I'm going to be using Von P. Uh, in the Seox spot. And let's see, this should be all, and let's go. Now, back in the day, <clears throat> uh, like when I first started, actually, the upcoming anniversary, roughly like the end of March, will mark two years since I've started playing. And, uh, <clears throat> oh yeah, that's right. Uh, I'm currently part of strike time right now. Usually I prefer not doing these during strike time, so I can- oh, well. <laughs> I guess she's gonna have to die no matter what. Yikes. Anyways, uh, back at like, when I first started, they had the wheel, you know, the good old draw wheel that everybody likes. And I, uh, so I used that. Let me use, um, no, I don't need to use that. Anyways, I kill you off. And I got Vompy during one of those. I think it was like a guaranteed 200 draw thing. So I've had her since like the very beginning and for probably a solid year, probably a year and a half, she was in my team and in the front. And she was very useful during that time, but of course, as time flows, sometimes you just gotta get rid of Vompy. You know, I, I like Vonpy. Vonpy's great, but, you know, what can you do? But, when I get to that, like, roughly 12 turnish spot, uh, I'll be bringing Vonpy back in. And, yeah. So now, this time I'm starting with the charge bar, but the thing is, I'm just gonna hold. I know it might sound weird, but, like, this, you know, first, like, 12 turns... You know, with Nier and stuff, kind of like go in a certain way. So I feel like it'll uh, progress a little bit smoother and I'll get less confused if I ignore the charge attack. Because usually I do this like right after my strike time ends. But I have something else going on in a moment. Oh, well, after. So, yeah. Oh yeah, I have something else here. I uh, picked up these candies. They're Valentine's Day Warheads. And so I thought of something fun to do. Every time Apollo activates a uh, special attack, I'm gonna eat one of these. Which means I'm guaranteed to eat, what? Three of them? I'll just have to see what it's like. Now activate Nyalothop. Then I activate one more turn. At the time of recording this, the uh, society event is uh, full and underway. However, I have yet to start it. I decided to go back and read all of the side stories for the society. Uh, I was in the middle of gripping freedom when I decided to do this, so I finished that off. I completed Platinum Sky. Uh, I'm currently in the middle of right behind you, but I realized I've... Uh, I forgot to do this. I was already in the middle of... I've already finished right behind you. Uh, when it was like an actual you know, rerun. So, I think I'm just going to skip it so I can do the one after it. Because I haven't read that one yet.
Ooh, four charge attacks. Nice, nice, nice. Man, it's it's crazy to have these turns where I'm already at like overburst just with the MC. I want to try to see if I can get a uh, if there's some sort of setup I can do where he can activate six charge attacks in one turn. Because I think having Fairy and Pandemonium active, well, Fairy's S3 active at the same time as Pandemonium will be key to something with that. I'm still... I don't know. I'll have to do more research into that. But for now, this has nothing to do with that, so... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Well, I guess that means he's going to get two attacks next turn. Because I think he'll have enough. Shlum. This one's going by very smoothly. No one's lost any HP. Two bursts. With only the main character. Ooh. Yeah, I'll activate you. Anything else? Nah. <clears throat> Two point two million. And... Two point... What? Really? It did more the second time around. Why was that? Was it because she got her second stack of this? Because going going from 2.7, I'm going from 2 million to 2.7 million is a huge jump. <laughs> oh, he wants to activate an attack, but well, he can't. Actually, he's probably going to activate it next turn. But I mean. It's Apollo, so it, it's, it doesn't matter much. I can't remember if it's gonna be... What's it called? Oh, I guess he's not gonna activate it. I guess since he's in break, he's not gonna activate it. That's cool. No, I didn't know that it could do that. Oh, well, hmm, never mind. Well, let's see the damage. Oh, it's just Oracle Ray. Oh, that's nothing. Oh, I guess since he's activated a special attack, I shall eat one of these. Hmm. Honestly, it's not sour at all. That was kind of a letdown. Well, well, never mind that. If it's some wimpy thing like that, then there's no reason to... You know, I thought I was going to torture myself. It's like, oh god, you know, please don't activate a special attack, but... That was underwhelming. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. But at least we get to do a bunch of damage. Man, I still really love using Kengo MC. I mean, this... Uh, so good. So good. 3.4. 2 million. Dang. 2.3. With another 2 million. She activates her Shishi Son Song. Seems like Vicola deals the least amount of damage, but is one of the more useful support characters. Like, no, oh, whoops. Sorry about that. Her support is. Well, her support is good, but her damage is bad. So. What the heck? Let's see... Uh, I'm gonna save Typhon for when Von P gets back out.
Oh, y'all thought it. Get that up to 6%. Right. Well, at least for these three. It doesn't matter for this character because they're just going to die out and then when they come back in, they won't have it anyway, so. Oh, Divine Pestilence. That doesn't matter. Um, let's see. I guess I'll just go ahead and use it right now. So that next turn, I could theoretically immediately <clears throat> uh, activate Typhon. Since nobody will have any charge bar. Actually, she might be able to activate hers. Yep, wow, cool. I didn't think she was going to be able to activate. But 2.2 is quite low, so... Haha, <laughs> you're caught. Oh wait, he activated... Oh, well, I guess I... Oh. It's so bland. Let's see, get that Vonpy. And now we wreak havoc. Bam. Oh, she still has full charge bar. I guess I won't use it yet. I'll put this on Vonpy though, since she's low on health. <clears throat> uh, I'll save. Ooh. It's good seeing Vonpy again. It's been a while. Oh, Helios Drive. Please just miss. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for listening to me. Uh, I'm gonna wait one more. Okay, phew. I thought charge attack was on. Ooh, nice. Get this back up. Activate this. I guess I can act. Activate these two. Cool. Actually. Ooh, wait. He has pandemonium active. This adds charge bar. Get that MC just a little bit of a boost. Actually, that might screw him over. Him. He might only be able to get three out instead of four. Possibly. I don't know. Only one way to find out. See, there's one, 2.7. Of course, that's because of Bahamut. And then 2.2, where Bahamut's gone. Yeah, he's he's not going to be activating three. Yeah, that that actually screwed him over. I think it would have activated four. Very likely, if he didn't have the bonus from Bonpi. Man, I forgot how much her charge attacks do. Dang. Good old Vonpy. Go ahead and activate you. Get that dark defense down. But now, I think now would be a good time to use Typhon. And let's destroy this guy. Woohoo. I forgot it. Ooh, four stacks of hype. Awesome. That is stuff you like to see. 3.6! The Shishi Son Son, 2.3. Whoa. Dang. Why does Vonpy good? Let's see. Let's activate you. He's almost in break. Actually, it might be good to activate this, since I think he might. Use Helios, Helios Drive since he's almost at trigger percent. I can't remember if he activates Helios Drive at 25. I think he does. 
Yep. That way, you know, if someone gets shorted, like that, it's gone. Cool. Yeah. That went very smoothly. Like, wow. I'd say this is probably the smoothest rate I've had so far, which is awesome. You can even bump it up to 9%. Just why not? I mean, might as well go for the overkill, you know? Because 3% is going to make a whole lot of difference. Uh oh, that's foreboding. Whoops. Sorry, my computer had something I thought it was very important to show me right then and there. Full burst, man. Get that good old road into rhythm. Got this back. I doubt this trap will be of much use, but might as well, you know? I think I'm gonna go ahead and activate that. Why not? I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter. I mean, he is at 12%. <laughs> uh, I was expecting something like that to happen, but it's funny every time I see it. Boop. I, I knew this was gonna be active this turn, but, you know. Activate you. Does this last, I think, three turns? The Bahamut buff. I mean, you can attack me all you want. All that does is make my en enmity even better. So, like, you're kind of just screwing yourself over by attacking me. Just saying. Time to hit him with the good old one-two punch, aka MC and Shlem, which is a very good one-two punch. Nice. I'm finishing it off with Vicola, who will be here for this raid, and we'll we'll have somebody else for next raid. And there he goes. I think that one was fairly fast too. Last time I checked the time, it was like one hour and 14 left. That's nice. All right. Oh. <laughs> Not like I used Fompy that much anyways. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I need these, especially to uncap more dark characters. But sure to, oh. I'll just go with the upgrader. It's not like I need more Apollo anima. But you can always use XP. Thank you. And thank you to everyone who uh, watches this. Uh, tomorrow, of course, I'll be back with yet another Apollo raid. Until we get this glorious number all the way up to 30. Until then, farewell. <laughs>